Hey everybody, this here is a Lakewood Model 1200 desk fan. Now, this one I got last week, I think, yeah, um, from the Savers, which I've gotten several fans now from. And this one, uh, being no exception, I found a lot of cool stuff there recently. Um, so this one is pretty rare. It's the blue version, as you can clearly see, of the Lakewood model, the all-plastic models that they had. They came out in, uh, I believe these came out in the early 80s, possibly late 70s. Um, this one I did take apart. I didn't find a date on it anywhere, so I'm going to guess it's probably from late 70s, early 80s, around that time. Now this one is the predecessor to the 1200A here, which I made a video on recently, just a few months ago. And, um, what I find interesting about these two fans is they kind of, uh, Lakewood kind of copied Galaxy or Lasco in their uh, progression of the color scheme on their models of desk fan. They started out with the blue, and then they moved on to the brown, and then later on in the 90s they had a, a white model with like gray blades and a gray sort of switch pattern. So they went blue, brown, gray, just like Galaxy, which is kind of weird and kind of interesting. So I'm not sure who came up with that first, but um, I'm going to guess that it was uh, Lasco or Galaxy because they uh, rebadged Sanyo parts and they were using the blue color scheme before anybody else. So um, yeah, I'm guessing that Lakewood kind of took after Galaxy. <laughs> um, so this one is the blue model 1200. Um, surprisingly not 1200B, which the B would stand for blue, but since this was the first model, I guess they didn't really have, this was, this like set the precedent for everything else. Um, it does have a lot of differences from the other one, which I'll get into, but first I want to turn the fan to the side here. The grill is not, um, white, it's, it's not like the same color as the base and motor housing. It's clear actually, like a clear plastic. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's a little dirty, so it's not as, like, shiny as it would be. But it's different from the 1200A, the almond one, which has the almond-colored grill to match the base and motor housing. Um, the base and the motor housing are pretty much identical. Um, if we look at this one here, this one's motor housing is a little bit bigger for some reason. Um, although this one is a later model of 1200A. I do recall that the older model 1200A that I used to have had the smaller motor housing. So they did carry this smaller motor housing onto this model. And then I guess when they switched motor design or when they switched motors, because this one has a Samsung motor. Um, this one has a, I think it's a Fasco motor, but I'm not entirely positive. It looks like a Fasco motor, but it might just be like a Lakewood or a whatever Lakewood used for their box fans, uh, McMillan or Marco or whatever. Um, I don't really know, but, um, this one does have a Samsung motor, which is a little bit larger. Um, so yeah, this one does have somebody wrote their name on it, on this part and on that part of the base as well. I tried to get it off, but it's, I don't know, I'll try, uh, nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol that might get it off. Um, and then you may notice also the switch badge. Um, this one has that sort of radiant, those radiating lines coming out of the center that uh, the earlier versions of the 1200A also had. The other one that I used to have had that as well, which I think is really cool. I think it's a lot cooler than this design. I um, mean, it also has the piano key, or not piano key, the regular push buttons that uh, increase in color, um, going from white to darker blues. And I really love this deep blue, shiny blue color of the switch plate badge and the Lakewood uh, center grill medallion badge there. The blades are also a nice transparent blue, which you probably already saw. They are a compression fit onto the motor shaft, so not a, they don't have a nut. Um, actually, just like this one, which is also a compression fit, so they didn't change anything about that. But you can see the front of the motor there. It's a white motor. Um, it does have oil ports on the sides, different from this one, which is a Samsung motor. So, um, and then the other thing that this one has is, well, this one's uh, got actually a couple of issues with it. The uh, 
the neck bracket has a crack in it right there, which I did try to repair with epoxy, but I failed at that. It kept breaking, so I just used the cable tie right there, you can kind of see. It holds, but um, I would like to get a replacement neck bracket sometime in the future. I know there's another collector who has a few spares. I'm trying to get some from him, or get one from him, so I can get it in better condition. It's also missing the nut that would go on the back here to tighten the, the neck bracket so it wouldn't fall down, but I have tightened the screw there to keep it up. Um, and then the other problem is the oscillator. This one's oscillator does not function, unfortunately. Now the gearbox does work. The gears are all fine. But the problem with this one, the culprit, is the plastic oscillator arm. On this side is fine. The screw hole is there for, like, this goes on the crank part coming out of the gearbox. But this part, unfortunately, has snapped. There should be a, it shouldn't be a semicircle there. It should be a full circle, like on this side. So I'm going to try to uh, replicate this one, uh, 3D print it. I have the um, capabilities too, so I'm going to see if I can do that. Um, but the gearbox does work, which is good, so um, I guess if this doesn't work, I can just use this one's gears at, as a donor fan in case I find one that has bad gears. But anyways, um, and then the other thing that was interesting that's not uh, a problem, but that's just kind of different, Notice the switch there. The off button is down. It's not like popped up like this one is. It's not spring loaded. So uh, like when it's on, it just like falls down. That's because this switch is different. This is a, a much older switch. It is, um, it's actually made by GE. I opened it up and took a look at it because I actually thought it was broken when I got it. Turns out these early switches that Lakewood used did not have springs. They weren't spring loaded at all. So, like, all the buttons are not spring-loaded. They're just, like, kind of just sitting there. It's really weird. So it's not like this one where all the buttons are spring-loaded and will pop up. Like, you know, on a Galaxy or any, like, standard desk fan from the 70s through the 90s, pretty much. Um, but this one is very weird. It's, yeah, definitely strange. And I did take it apart because I thought it was broken. Um, it turns out it's supposed to be like that. Um, but I did, like shoot some lubricant in there to keep the little sliding bars moving and not sticking because um, it was having some contact issues but that being said I think that is almost everything I just want to quickly show you guys the bottom here or the label the informations model 1200 Lakewood Engineering and Manufacturing Company, 501 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois. 120 volt, 60 hertz, 1.1 amps. And this base is a nice blue color as well, which I really like. As you all know, blue is my favorite color. And so when I saw this sitting on the shelf at the Savers, I immediately grabbed it. And it was only like seven bucks, I think. Not bad at all. And then the last thing before I turn the fan on, I want to show you guys this plug, which is a very old, not very old, but pretty old, molded plug, non-polarized, definitely a very early model this one is. Um, and I don't know if that would be like a warning tag or if that's something somebody stuck on there, but I'm going to guess it's like a warning tag. Um, yeah, so... That being said, now let's finally go ahead and start the fan up. So I'm going to start it up on, let's do low first. And this fan is absolutely quiet, like dead silent. It's kind of a shame that it's in somewhat poor condition because the thing is a solid runner. But it's definitely well used, so whoever had it before certainly got mileage out of it. And it still works perfectly fine, at least the fan part. Medium. These fans are also really powerful. 
They're very unassuming because you don't really expect this much air off of one of these all plastic fans, but the Lakewood really knew what they were doing back in the late 70s, early 80s, whenever this was made. And like I said, they kept this design or this relative form factor with the plastic grill all the way out well up into the 90s and I think even in the early 2000s they were still making some models with that same grill design. So on high it definitely has a little bit of wind noise but this thing is blowing so much air I'm actually getting very cold. And then if I push the oscillator down you can see that the pin does spin around so the gears do work, but the fan does not oscillate, obviously, because I've taken the arm off and it's broken. Okay, now we're going to spin it down from high. Still probably could stand to be run a little longer to work the oil into the bearings, but... Nonetheless, pretty good spin down. So now I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to see if you can catch the startup sound on the microphone. Uh, the camera will pick it up. So here we go. Definitely does have... It definitely does have somewhat of a startup sound. It's not really that audible over the sound of the wind. But it is there. So, um, I don't know if there's anything I missed about this fan. Other than it is a really, really cool addition. I'm really happy to finally have one of these blue Lakewoods. I bet there was one, a 9-inch one on my Facebook Marketplace. Like the 9-inch version of the blue one. Model 900, I believe. And that one was on Marketplace for a couple of months. And it was like listed at a ridiculous price, like $60 or something. Brought it down to like $45, and then it disappeared, so I guess somebody else got it, but that's okay. That was a little too much. Um, but yeah, this one is a good compromise. Very happy to have it. Um, so yeah, that is about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. It's the Lakewood 1200 12-inch 12 desk fan. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.